You might know Maddie Ziegler from being the golden girl on Dance Moms, but what you might not know is that the days of being her dance teacher's favorite are over. I told you over and over and over. That's right, even Abby Lee Miller's favorite kid in the entire world isn't safe. But what happened? Well, over the years, it was revealed that Maddie completely stopped talking to her dance teacher. She doesn't even acknowledge Dance Moms anymore. Why? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Show me the Maddie face. Maddie's Time on Dance Moms So in order to understand what might have led to Maddie and Abby's falling out, we have to start at Maddie's time on Dance Moms. Maddie has always been the favorite kid. Abby always said that she was the one that always applied corrections and delivered a fantastic performance that made her proud to be her dance teacher. This sometimes obvious favoritism drew the other moms crazy. Like seriously. They frequently fought over the fact that Abby spent more time with Maddie. And let's not forget that Maddie was almost always at the top of the pyramid, too. There was definitely a lot of jealousy involved. Someone's at the top, someone's at the bottom. And no teacher does that in a classroom. But Maddie didn't care about that. All she wanted to do was dance. Over the years, more and more kids came to the Abby Lee Dance Studio to be the next Maddie. Some came pretty close to succeeding, but Maddie remained irreplaceable. Even after she left the show and tried to be replaced about a million times. We know several of the Dance Moms girls who would have happily have the next Maddie written in their Instagram bio. Not gonna happen, girls. Not gonna happen. But as Maddie spent more and more time away from Dance Moms, her disdain for the show grew. There were many reasons behind that, and here's one of them. Abby Jail Time Everyone was shocked when it was announced that Abby Lee Miller was going to jail. She faced jail time for fraud after hiding more than $750,000 in earnings. Why is that bad? because she didn't disclose that income to tax authorities. Reports state that she allegedly smuggled from as much as $120,000 into the U.S. from the Australian tour. But Abby claimed she never saw that money. She was asked if people who were traveling in her carried some of that cash themselves, to which she replied that it's debatable. We'll talk more about who she's allegedly framing for that later. Abby was originally rumored to be sentenced for five years in prison. Later, her sentence was reduced to one year and one day which she served. But let's go back a little. In fact, let's go back to the moment that pretty much shocked us all. Maddie leaving Dance Moms When the jail news hit, Abby's world crumbled, and it crumbled even more when it was announced that her fave dancer was leaving the show. This season, Maddie's not going to be on the team anymore. Seriously, if you haven't seen season 6 of Dance Moms, you have to, because it's by far one of the most explosive seasons ever. Maddie leaving had a huge impact on Abby, but something else also happened. In season 6, Melissa, Maddie's mom, finally stood up for Mackenzie. Kenzie was always getting picked on by Abby for not being as good as her sister, and it took six seasons for her mother to stand up for her. But what's important about this moment is the fact that during that confrontation, Melissa said she knows so much stuff Abby doesn't want to mess with her right now. As this happened after Australia and during the jail news, it's safe to assume that Melissa seemed to have known something about Abby's situation. After all, she was her assistant, wasn't she? Keep on watching to hear more about the theories about her involvement. But first, let's check out some other reasons why Maddie and Abby are no longer speaking. Abby not letting it go Dance Moms fans have noticed that after the Zieglers left the show, Abby was still way too attached. Not just on the show, but also on social media. Unfortunately, Abby doesn't tend to say she misses them, or at least she didn't back in the day. Instead, she posted several weird comments over the years that kind of shaded how the Zieglers were treating her. For example, when Maddie was featured in Sia's video, The Greatest, Melissa posted a picture on her Instagram. Underneath, Abby commented that she actually asked Melissa if Sia needs a bunch of kids for dance parts, and Melissa at the time said no. It was clear that Abby wanted to include herself in Maddie's career and recruit her dancers, and it seems like Melissa really didn't want her to be involved. In 2018, Abby became more active on social media and with that came a lot of subtle messages. One of the fans commented that they can't imagine how it must feel to put all that energy into people and just watch them walk away. Their full comment indicated that they were talking about the Zieglers. Abby replied to that comment and thanked her for realizing the situation she's in, which implies that as a dance teacher, Abby got way too attached to the Zieglers. But maybe their relationship just wasn't all that healthy. In an Another example where she just can't let go of the Zieglers walking away, Abby screenshotted one of their private messages she got. In it, the fan said that they're mad Maddie won't even admit she was on Dance Moms anymore. 
Abby posted a comment saying that forgetfulness won't be forgotten or forgiven. She also added that she devoted hours of extra special attention for her. She also admitted she gets many of these messages every day. And in September 2018, Abby showed her new revenge ring. She said it's revenge for cancer, but then added she wants revenge for a few others. People have quickly noted that the shade was most likely thrown at Melissa for the way she treated Abby after Dance Moms. Tough Childhood after leaving the show, Maddie slowly began to open up about her time on Dance Moms. Just because she was the favorite, it doesn't mean she had it easy. Get off your butt, walk over to Ross, and buy a ball. That's your fault. The Zieglers revealed how social media became hard for them after they received plenty of bullying messages throughout their childhood. Both of the kids were also incredibly overworked, and Maddie even notes that it's ridiculous just how stressed out she was during that time. She says that they lived through it, and she doesn't feel like she has to watch the show. She added that there was just so much drama that she never wants to see it again. Maddie also said that she was stressed at 11 years old, which definitely shouldn't happen. And it's true. When you live and breathe competitive dance, you have zero time for a break. Maddie's childhood was dedicated 24-7 to dance and to pleasing her dance team teacher who could turn on her at every moment. Even though Maddie was a favorite, she wasn't immune to Abby's wrath. Sure, it didn't happen as much as it did with the other girls, but it was there. Their mom, Melissa, also notes that the girls have missed out on a lot of other things. Because they had a strict contract, Maddie and Mackenzie weren't able to book other jobs, despite becoming gradually more famous. She also revealed she didn't want to deal with all of the drama anymore because it got to the point where it was too stressful. Dance is supposed to be a happy thing, right? It's clear that the world of competition was taking a toll on everyone. And if that's not enough, try having your teacher yell at you most of the time as you're rehearsing. I don't like mommies playing dancing school. Get that straight. Fans' theory is that the Zieglers simply became too resentful of Abby's toxic behavior after Dance Moms. From shady comments to feeling entitlement to be a part of Maddie's projects, Abby seemed to have demanded a lot. Many are defending her, saying she deserves respect after dedicating so much time to making the Zieglers who they are today. But others say that there's a fine line between support and being toxic. And by the looks of it, the Zieglers decided to block out dance moms from their lives to avoid any future toxicity. But is that all? Because the Dance Moms fandom has a rumor that Melissa might be slightly more involved than we think. Melissa's involvement. So here's what the Dance Mom rumor mill states. Abby often posts cryptic social media messages. In one of her Instagram stories, which addresses the European Q&A tour, the Zieglers did, Abby says people shouldn't waste money on a Q&A to talk about me. At the bottom of the post, she added that you shouldn't give her any cash. Of course, her assuming Melissa, which is pretty much indicating that Melissa could be more involved in this whole Australian money debacle. In one of the promos for season eight, Abby also screenshotted an article which showed a photo of Abby with the moms. And what did Abby do? She whited out Melissa. Come on, Abs, what's going on? Well, these theories might shed some light on what kind of issues Abby has with the Zieglers and vice versa. Fan theories. All of the current Dance Moms theories were beautifully summarized by a Reddit user, Strict Door. It's important to note that these are, of course, just theories and should be taken with a grain of salt. These allegations have yet to be proven to be real or fake, but we love a good theory, so let's check it out. Ready? Here it goes. In summer 2016, Abby was advertising several ALDC LA masterclasses, claiming that Maddie was going to be a part of that. Maddie wasn't there, and people who took those masterclasses felt like they were ripped off. Melissa got involved and made sure Abby cannot publicly mention Maddie ever again, and vice versa. The Redditor also notes that the distance was most likely advised by their legal counsel and management. Being close to someone who's going through so many legal troubles is bad for Maddie's career. So what if Maddie was legal? legally advised to just leave Dance Moms out of everything to avoid being linked to Abby. It's clear that Abby was going to use every moment she has to try to get back in contact with the Zieglers. And then there's the currency smuggler theory. The Redditor alleges that Abby had some of the moms and the girls smuggle Australian money through customs. And since Melissa was extremely loyal to Abby at the time, she would totally do this for her. Another theory around the money issue states that Melissa is suspected of helping Abby bring in large amounts of undeclared foreign money. Since Abby wouldn't want to declare all her money and risk losing it to the banks where she fraudulently filed bankruptcy, she had Melissa take it. The suspicion is that Melissa 
Melissa just held on to the money instead of returning it to Abby. If Abby tried to collect it legally, it would mean she's a part of the whole scheme. So the safest thing to do for Melissa was to completely distance herself from Abby. Of course, this is just a theory though, so take it with a grain of salt. Another theory states that Abby could have done something to Mackenzie. The Dance Moms subreddit took a screenshot of a Facebook conversation with Melissa, in which she states that Abby did something bad to Mackenzie. Fans weren't able to figure out what happened or if this was all just behind the scenes. Some even suggest it has something to do with Mackenzie's music lawsuit after Abby signed her to a music label that failed to deliver their contractual promises. We all know Kenzie blocked Abby on Instagram after Abby said she's unable to tag her on any of the photos. So it's clear that although Abby loved these kids, the relationship seemed to have been unhealthy. Maybe Abby herself doesn't realize what happened and why, but sometimes walking away makes more sense. And since both Maddie and Mackenzie aren't talking to Abby, it really could be that they were legally told not to. You have to admit, Abby does a lot of shading on social media, and that's not really healthy, right? Do you think Abby should have celebrated Maddie's success instead of asking for recognition? Or are you on Abby's side and think that Maddie should have acknowledged Dance Moms more? Let us know in the comments below. And that's it for our video. Don't forget to subscribe to The Things for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.